Hey, yo, what's happening with everybody? It's your boy, the one and only. K. K. My raps. All right, so it's basically kind of like a Q&A that I'm doing today. I get answered on a daily basis. How did I get, to, how I got started, what made me start vinyl rapping, and have I ever took a class? You know, so basically, I'm gonna just run down those three questions, make the video, you know, short and sweet, and get to the point. So, going, no, actually, next month. No, it's August. Uh, let's take that back. September will be two years that I've been rapping and doing what I'm doing, you know? So, let's start off with the first question. The first question is, how did I get started with vinyl rapping? I got started after I didn't sign with the 49ers back in 2018. And then COVID started back in what, 20, 2019. So all of that happened, I was really bummed out. My wife went back to work when my son uh, was eight months. So I was just at home trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do. So, I was on YouTube one day and I was, you know, feeding him, literally sat, was just in a chair, chilling, he was sleeping. I was just on YouTube and I ran uh, ran across this guy, CK Raps. <clears throat> one of the best, one of the best to do the game, one of the best that's in the game, but my mentor and who I idolize is that guy, Justin Payton. He's been doing... Vinyl rapping since what? Damn, 20, no, since 1996, I believe. Like, who's rapping back in 1996? Have you ever thought about that? You're probably thinking about it now, I know. What the fuck vinyl rapping paper was like back in 1996? Bro, that shit had to be brittle, hard, kind of like that Chinese shit you buy off eBay. So... If you mind vinyl rapper off eBay, terrible. But back to the question. So that's what happened inside of the 49ers. Wife went back to work. I was trying to figure out what I want to do. Ran into CK Raps and saw him vinyl rap in the car. And I was like, hold up. What the hell is this? So this is what I this is how you make cars gold and chrome that I be seeing and whatnot. I was like, oh yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm a car guy. That that is what I want to do. So of course, I buy the shittiest material, Vivid. No shade to anybody who uses Vivid, but it's not the best material to work with. Personally, I would never ever use it. Have a lot of people hit me up. Hey, can you wrap my full car and maybe I have the roll? <gasps> no. All right, so <laughs> Vivid was a no-go. Used it, wrapped, um, I had a Jeep Commander at a time, and I wrapped like half the hood, and I tried to wrap the whole hood, just balled it up, and I was like, can't do it. And then I started using this, yeah, I started using this company called E, and then Z, and then Wraps, Easy Wraps. Worst fucking material you can buy. They say it's air release technology, it's nothing. So I used them. I started off with probably the absolute worst vinyl you can buy. That's what made me as good as I am today. A lot of people may say, oh, he's not good. But you know, hey, your haters are your motivators. You won't find me. You will never find me on Rap Police. I promise you that. But, um, got a little carried away. Started with easy raps. Um, when a wife got back from home from work, actually she didn't get back home from work. We started sending our son to daycare. So once he was at daycare, I was literally, I would drop her off. I was outside eight to 10 hours a day. I wouldn't, I skipped lunch. I wouldn't even eat lunch. I was outside rapping the hood, the fenders, the front bumper. From when I wrapped the front bumper the very first time, you know, when you wrap a front bumper, they say start in the middle and work your way one way, boom, and then work your way the other way. I fucking laid the vinyl down, tried to glass it out as good as I can, and I started working it in from the edge all the way over to the right side. And the mistake of doing that is 
when you wrapping a car from the edge and not the middle and work your way out, if you make a mistake, you gotta go all the way to the other side and pull the vinyl all the way up and then lay it all the way down just to get that bubble out. And it is the worst process. That's why they say always start in the middle of anything. Anytime you lay anything besides a door, the doors, you don't have to start in the middle. You can start, you start from the damn top and work your way down. But majority of the cars you do start in the middle, like the hood, the front bumper, the trunk, the roof. Yeah, I believe that's it. But let's go ahead and get on into the next question. So I talked about how I got started. Let's talk about if I have ever taken a vinyl wrapping class. To answer that question, if y'all was listening, I've never taken a vinyl wrapping class till this day. I'm self-taught. One of the websites that I actually use and I'm subscribed to is ckwraps.com and the Rap Institute. Justin Page shows you on the Rap Institute how to tuck corners, how to heat it up, how to work vinyl into like deep, crazy recess areas, how to feed vinyl into recess areas. That way there's no lifting and no tension. So please, if you want to get started, subscribe to them. And I had this one person, I don't want to say any names or bring anything up, but had this one person was just like, yeah, um, I want to take another class out in LA because your class was basically like beginners. I was just like, bro, you're a beginner. You've never wrapped anything in your life. Why would I teach you advanced and crazy ass techniques when you don't even know the fundamentals? So people want to rush to try to learn. Like the thing is, if you want to get serious with vinyl wrapping, it's not a part-time job. If you want to wrap something like your car by yourself or, you know, Take it to the next level. You have to be outside. You have to be rapping. You have, you have to take this shit serious. You honestly have to find time to at least touch vinyl rap at least three, four times a week in order to, you know, get the techniques down, learn how to glass, um, get your squeegee technique down. It's it's so much more to it than just taking one simple class and you think that you're gonna be some master at vinyl wrapping. No, this shit took time. I'm still learning today. Today. So <clears throat> if you want to take a vinyl wrapping class and you know, it's the fundamentals. It's, and then, you know, you come back, take another class. You, It's a learning process. You can't learn everything in a couple of days. It just doesn't happen. Somebody DM me. Oh, bro said, I love my rap. Thank you again. All good, my guy. But, so, um, so with that being said, you have to take my rapping series if you honestly want to go and take it to the next level. All right. I was going to say something else, but I kind of forgot, so I'm going to just keep the ball rolling. All right. So, answer the question, how I got started. Um, what made me get started, if I'm saying that right. Um, uh, oh, so one of the main things to get you known and to put yourself and your company on the map is you have to, when I say this, I mean, you absolutely have to vinyl wrap your car. That's the game. If you don't vinyl wrap your car, no one's gonna know who you are. If you see my car right now, well, it's kind of going under the knife right now, so the vinyl wrap is being taken off. But if you saw the previous wrap that was on my car, everybody knows exactly who I am. You have to wrap your car something crazy, something that pops, something that's colorful as fuck, and then also put a decal with your Instagram, your YouTube channel, anything with your name on it on the back of your windshield that everybody knows. I get calls from people in traffic as I'm driving. I get Instagram videos of people tagging me while I'm on the freeway, park, anywhere. So the biggest thing to making your uh, business 
as far as vinyl wrapping, a success is you have to wrap your car. That is your driving billboard, literally. So that's the number one thing you have to do. Practice on your car and eventually full, fully wrap, or you can do a half wrap, but fully wrap your car. All right, next question. What's another question that I get asked a lot? Hmm, y'all think with me real quick. So we went over, how did I get started? What made, what made me get into rap? I said Justin Page, CK Raps. Hmm, yeah, that's, that's basically it. If y'all do have any more questions, feel free to, um, to ask me in the comments, like and subscribe. I'm very open. I get to all my DMs, all my comments and messages. Um, yeah, and if you have any more questions, I can write them down this time and address every question and we can make a part two of this video. But I just kind of wanted to get those fundamentals and questions out the way on how I got started, why I got started, when I got started. So yeah, two years and it's it's, it's been a blessing ever since. I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. It, it's truly just an honor and everybody that's been booking with me because I am currently booked out into October and today is July 26, May. July, so we got August and September. So I'm booked two months out, man. That's, that's a real life blessing. I'm doing damn near two cars a week. So my turnaround time, it's not like other people's. I don't play. I like to get my customers in and out. Great quality, great service. And here's your car. Take care of it. My turnaround time is three or four days. I tell them, you know, just in case anything comes up, maybe five days at the most. But I honestly wrap cars in about a day, day and a half. They'd be completely finished and I have to wait for my mechanic to come assemble the car and then I like to clean it and get it all taken care of before the customer comes to pick it up. But that is it. Ah, got a workout today. Boom. Boom, man. For the ones that be asking me these crazy ass questions, y'all be like, where are you located? Where are you from? Dead ass. It's in my bio. It says Oakland, California. That's where I'm born and raised. I mean, I stay in San Leandro, but I claim Oakland. But literally, if you're from the Bay, it's literally around the corner. It's like fucking eight, six, seven, four, five minutes away from Oakland. But anyways, I'm in located in San Leandro, California. And when you click on my Instagram, it says Oakland, California. So when y'all hit me in the DM and y'all be like, hey, where's your location? I'm not going to reply back to you. Because in order for you to DM me, you have to click on my profile. And I'm pretty sure you see everything right there, right up under my icon. It says Oakland, California, KJ Rabs, Bay Area, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So for y'all, y'all got to start reading. Dead ass. Y'all really have to start reading. Because if you hit me and say, where are you located? I'm going to just leave you on red or I won't even open the message. And I'm going to just swipe and hit delete. I don't know. I try to answer everybody's questions. But when y'all do ask me questions, where, like questions y'all can Google. Y'all can Google like how long rap lasts. Every vinyl rap life is different as far as Avery and 3M being the, the best. That's pretty much all I use. Um... Those go anywhere between six to eight years, but half of y'all and mostly everybody don't even fucking keep newer cars from eight to nine years or 10 years old. Or who the hell is gonna keep a wrap on for five, six, seven, eight years? Nobody. We we want something different every time. Rap is just evolving, it's turning into it. Rap, rap is new paint. And when people ask me, what is rap? Rap, honestly, is literally look it's just a sticker that we put on a car that's literally all it is it's just one big ass sticker we put on a car that's it one big ass sticker but 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop this video for y'all. I hope I answered y'all question. Oh, and also to end it, the last question I always get asked, my starting price is 2,500. Starting price, if your car is white, the prices will increase. If your car is bright, purple, red, orange, green, if it's bright, the price will go up because I have to do hella extra shit, like put a little piece of inlay and a piece of vinyl inside the door edges and the panels and a whole bunch of other stuff to hide that bright ass white or orange, red, orange car, whatever you want, whatever bright ass car you got. Black cars, y'all start off literally at 2,500. My prices are 2,500. There's a lot of people that say, oh, your prices are high. Bro, my prices, 2,500 is a flat rate. That's including wrap and labor. You go to anywhere else. I mean, some people going, are going to be like, oh, no, I found some place. And then, then, bro, only charged me 23. Then, then. Cool. I'm not saying I have the best fucking prices. But for my quality and my turnaround time, it don't get no better than that. If you, if there's somebody out there that's fucking wrapping cars in under fucking two, three days, and you get they they get their car they drop off Monday they pick their car up Thursday or Friday, please tag them and let me know because I know there ain't nobody that's doing that no cocky shit no cap there ain't nobody that's turning around cars like I am I'm by myself doing it by myself these shops have these shops have multiple hands on deck. And they be having people's cars anywhere between two to four weeks. And I don't understand that. If you don't have three people on one car, you can literally, shops should be able to wrap cars in one fucking day. Have one person wrap one side, have another one wrap the other, have somebody else wrap the hood, roof, and the trunk. Y'all all are out of each other way. One side on the side, one's in the middle, one go to the back. Then the roof, y'all can leave that last. And then y'all can tag team the front and the back bumper. I did ass wrap the Tesla in about fucking eight to 10 hours by myself and did a damn, uh, what other car was that that I turned around and did just as fast? I think it might've been a charger, but you feel me? It's crazy. Y'all gotta do better. I'm not saying I'm the best rapper in the, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm the best rapper in the world, but trust me, I'm only getting started. I'm going to be, you feel me? Law of attraction. Manifestation is the biggest thing in the world. And I know all of my vinyl rap competitors out there. I know everybody that's rapping in the Bay. I may not follow you, but I know who you are. I've seen you work. I peeped. Dun, dun. So no, if you, and then also for the people that are speaking on me, just know I know exactly who you are. I won't approach you. I won't say nothing to you. I'm not that type of guy. As long as you don't say nothing to me in my face, we good. I have an inner, I have an inner demon. Let me just put that out there. I'm not to be fucked with when I'm mad. So that's why I always keep a smile on my face. I'm always cheerful, I'm always happy. I took MMA for two years. Um, yeah, I, I used to be one angry ass kid growing up. So that's why I'm always happy. But some people, please don't ever take my kindness for weakness. Don't. And also, I wanna put this out there. I'm not gonna be very, very direct, but um, a situation happened that I'm not really going to address. I'm not that type of person, but just know I have to make some changes as far as getting somebody else in here. Cool ass dude. So shout out to my new mechanic. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. The other one. <clears throat> yeah. Out with the in, out with the old, in with the new. But Congrats on, you know, your new place and moving three and a half hours away and all that good stuff. So I just want everybody to know I hear everything. When you're speaking on me, I hear everything. I see everything. People talk. So 
this video is done with. I appreciate everybody. Hey, stay positive, stay blessed. Do what you love. And if you are going to college, make sure you're going to college to further the career you planned on going to college for. Meaning if you're going to college to be a lawyer or a doctor or anything, have a set career and a set major. So that way, once you leave college, you go straight into that job career. Because a lot of us, like myself, I went to college only because I was chasing a football dream. But if I knew that dream wasn't going to be or wasn't going to happen, I would have found something else. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. I am grateful. I am blessed. I'm glad everything happened the way it happened. I would never try to go back and change the future if I could. But be grateful for what you have. Manifest for manifestation. Manifest what you want in the future. Get after them goals. The biggest thing is write what you want down in a year. Every year, write something down. Me, oh boy, that sh like, go watch the Secret documentary on YouTube. Watch it. It will change your life. It changed mine. And everything I've ever accomplished or wanted to accomplish, I've made it happen. So the secret, the universe is literally your scrapbook. For example, I'm done after this. For example, if you wanted a car, you're going to go get that car by any means necessary until you get it. Think about it. Law of attraction. If you wanted a female, you're going to pursue that female until you get her. Law of attraction. Manifestation. You're like, oh, I want her. Oh, and you're going to do everything in your power to go get it. It's the same as a career. You have to put the work in. Period. You can talk about it all you want. The minute you put that shit into action, you're going to be like, God damn, I really made that shit happen. Yes, you did that. And think about it. Really think about it. When you want something, you put them actions into getting that, it happens. That's the law of attraction. You're attracting and you're going after what you want. Like me, I done had everything I've ever wanted. Well, I'm not going to get too detailed. But that's the end of this video. It's your boy, the one and only. Cage of Raps. Check it out. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram. At K-J-W-R-A-P-Z. We out. I love y'all, man. Stay safe. If you did watch the whole video, thank you, like, and subscribe, and I'm out.